Hey, what's up guys and girls? Today I want to talk about the Taiwan servers or how it's called the Lords Online app. So it's a little bit different than Lords Mobiles. These are two different apps. So if you want to play on Lords Online or the Taiwan servers, you really need to download the Lords Online app. Let's get into it. Let's open this up. So these are completely different games or apps. Uh, so you cannot trade from one account to the other. Um, you need to log in. You can use, you can have the same, you can do that from the same email. Uh, I, that's what I do on my accounts. Uh, but you cannot trade in between those servers. Those are two different games. All right. We're in the uh, Taiwan servers right now. Uh, or the Lords Online. So what are the main differences? So one reason why people play on these is they, a lot of people, well, some people, they have an account on the Lords Online uh, app just to see the upcoming updates. So there are several things. So first of all, the daily reset happens 13 hours before. Uh, so it just happened and then basically it just happened an hour ago. So in 12 hours, the daily reset will happen on the main servers. One of the reasons why people do that is they want to see the event previews or the updates. Uh, so these are on a set calendar. So these updates will always show up 13 hours before. Uh, on, they will show up 13 hours on the Taiwan server, Lords Online. Let me put that to, uh, full screen. Uh, before they appear on the uh, main server, the global server, Lords Mobile. So obviously, uh, this is what you're, you're going to show. Now, what people really want this for uh, is basically what I do on a daily basis when I can is I look at the reset to see if there are any new updates. So that's why I know ahead of time, about 13 hours before when the spring extravaganza showed up. So I was able to look at the, um, the event description and all of that. Most of the updates we will, sh we will see 13 hours ahead of time on the Lords Online app, uh, but some updates are, uh, they stay, they stick around in the, the beta servers for a longer time because of testing. Uh, this has not happened in a long time. Maybe the first artifact challenge might have uh, stuck around in the beta servers a couple days before it went on the main, on the global servers. But most of the updates, because they are on set calendar and they're stable updates, they don't need testing. We only see them like 13 hours ahead of time. There are two differences between the uh, Lords Online or the Taiwan servers and the main, the global servers. We don't have any exchange extravaganza in uh, Lords Online. So that's one big difference. So that's why whenever this shows up in the <laughs> in the main server, people are like, hey, why, why didn't you uh, tell us about this? And, well, I don't know. <laughs> uh, this is this is completely different. Uh, the other difference is whenever there's a castle skin event, uh, there are no castle skin uh, that you can get free to play in Lords Online. So that is why sometimes when there's a, an event and I see that there's a shop, I will say, I'm guessing that there's a castle skin, but I cannot confirm it. Now, the, uh, the other differences is there are only four uh, kingdoms. Uh, so if we look at this, there are um, four kingdoms as well as the uh, Royal Battle Realm, which is kingdom number four. This is why it jumps from kingdom three to five. Um, there are not a lot of players uh, that play those, those kingdoms. And there are a lot of dead castle, especially in castle number one, which you will see when I get here a lot and and not just a small amount like it's filled with dead castle so if you want to try out the taiwan servers i would suggest uh go to to uh, kingdom five where i'm at or kingdom three maybe but don't go to kingdom one this is like really really painful to navigate um it's gonna make your app lag a lot so this yeah a lot a lot of dead castle so that's why uh, not a lot of other activity also uh but the rest of the game is played the same way as far as the events are concerned uh we don't see it we just did the royal uh, rally but basically if if i recall in the past both the chalice the baron and the emperor 
were all the four kingdoms together. So there was really no difference uh, between those events. But um, this is basically the only, those are the two main differences um, between Lords Online and the, the global server, the main game. Um, if you guys want to uh, create an account on Lords Online just to get the updates and you want to play somewhere, you can join us in uh, the IND guild. Uh, there's currently a lot of room because Guildfest was is just over and we had to kick a bunch of leechers. So that's about it for um, that's about it for uh, Lords Online or the Taiwan server. By the way, I have this series on, on on my channel with the T1 Troll account where I am uh, doing a challenge where I do everything except unlock t2 and anything below that so if you guys want to check that um there is like i said a playlist of that but i'm gonna have the one year anniversary of the account later this week or next week um and yeah that's about it <laughs> thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next video or stream